special offering. I shared something this morning that I, 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 I been meaning to share with you, but uh, our lights went out. How many of y'all remember that Sunday that our lights went out? We thought it was something on the outside, but we discovered that it was something on the outside that was caused by something on the inside. Our AC, our, our, uh, H, HVAC systems are going down. Air conditioner is going down. During the pandemic, we're using it, and we're going to have to get new units. And these are not like your house unit. If you don't believe me, I'll let the ladder down and you climb up on top. And you can see how expensive these things are. We already got some, some information. Uh, one company said, get your, get your new system now. Another company said, we'll make it due so you get past, so you get by for right now. But we're sure that we need to set aside a large set, set of money to uh, set aside for when we need to actually have these things taken care of. We don't have to beg y'all and I don't have to cry in front of y'all. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, we don't want our pastor crying after number 42 has come along. And so the fourth Sunday, we're going to do a special offering. We can raise $100,000 in this church. I'm looking at some very rich people because you look real rich. So if you ain't rich, you sure got me fooled. So I want you to bring a special offering. I don't want you sitting around here talking about, well, I'm going to give 2 or $3 because I guarantee you those people are going to say, we cannot replace those air conditioning with 2 or $3. And we're at the end of the year offering anyway. But that's what we have to do. Probably have to save about $200,000 or so so that we are already guided, set aside for should it occur, especially during the summertime. There was a church in Cleveland. I won't tell you which one. Same thing happened, and for two years, they had no air conditioning in this hot weather. And so people wasn't coming to church, and you know what happened when people don't come to church. I won't tell you. But anyway, Lord, we thank you today for the air conditioner. We thank you today for preserving our lives. We thank you today for reminding us that sometimes in movements, we are in wilderness experiences, but you reminded us that we have a pre-plan for taking rest in our world today and to remember how to reconnect with you in times of trouble. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people of God said amen. Give God a great big hand.